Hello and welcome along. Today on Thornton Farm, we have a lot of yard work to do. So, um, uh, we have some restacking of bales to do. Uh, we need to clean out the cows. Uh, we need to clean the pigs. We need to sort the sheep out. So, there's a lot to do. Uh, we will see how much we get done. Uh, but we're going to start off in the cow dish of Vultra here. Uh, restacking bales. Uh, because we need to make sure all our bales are easily accessible. And how they were stacked before, it wasn't. Uh, so we've already got a couple of stacks of the straw done and all of the silage. Uh, we need the hay bales here and the straw bales here. They all need to go into the shed. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, a couple of the straw stacks have fallen over, so uh, we're going to have to get the MB track on those with the smaller uh, bale spike. But, to start with, we need to get uh, this stack or these stacks done. So we'll get these all uh, stacked, and then the next thing is we're going to get the uh, the cleaning head on the uh, on the front loader and get that uh, and get the cows and the pigs sorted. Now we'll try to stack these as close to the end as we can. We don't want to stack them too high because even now I'm not sure the MB track can reach the top. Which is a bit of a problem if it's trying to, uh, if we're trying to use it to uh, get these bales. Alright, so, whoop, I'm going to go forwards. And back out of it, there we go. So, yeah, getting all these undercover will uh, will help preserve them because with seasons uh, you do have uh, bale degradation uh, and especially in this slightly modified version of Thornton which uh, has a snow mask on it Which makes it more seasons compatible. Okay. We're a little bit over to the left. I have to be careful when putting these in because we're going to knock the other column if we're not careful. Around we go. Oh, yeah, we have just clipped it. They've settled back down. That's good. It's not 100% straight, but we have got space for... Oh, we have got a little bit of wiggle room for that. Now, how many more stacks have we got? We've got uh, two more complete stacks. Yeah. And then two smaller stacks. Because uh, the bales have fallen off the top. Get in on this. It's of course late autumn in uh, game now, so this is this is now us preparing for the winter. Um, we are getting oilseed radish put in everywhere. Uh, currently, field four is being planted. 
uh, because it needs to be ploughed as well and then we'll drop the, the ploughing attachment and probably the cultivator off um, that setup as well to get 13 and uh, 13 and uh, 29 done although I might buy or hire a new piece of equipment we do have a little bit of money but we also have the winter coming <laughs> so right let's see if we can there we go Yeah, by leaving the uh, two stacks that fall over to last, what I can do there is I can take the small stacks and then easily put the bales on the top. And sort of distribute the remaining bales between them. Yeah, this hopefully is enough to get us through the winter. Definitely, I'm hoping this is enough to get us through the winter. We've got we got a little else we can do. Right and oh. this is not the straightest. too much fuss. With any luck. There we go. Slightly wonky stack, but that's okay. It's in that. Right, just these two little ones. I do like the wheel weights on this. It does mean that I don't have to uh, have any other kind of weight on the back. They work really well. Really, really well. There we go. I think this will take a uh, stack of up to four. We are putting them in here like this purely so that we can get access to them. The way I had them stacked before, there was there was no way I could put all three types of bales in this uh, in this shed. Whereas this way, we can at least get access to each of the different type of bale. We may do one last uh, set of mowing. I'm just trying to decide what we need from that. Whether more hay bales would be a good idea or more... Uh, well, we have bought... Yeah, more hay bales or more... 
silage bales because we do not have many silage bales. I'm not 100% sure I have enough uh, straw bales, but we have had we have had enough straw bales to get us through most of the year. So actually, yeah, this should be enough. Only need to get us through the next six months. And there should be plenty there to do that. And then we'll get another field full of wheat or barley planted. Uh, which I think is going to be field 29. Right, so that's all the straw with this. Let's get stacking it, the hay bales in there. Now hopefully we can do these without knocking stacks here over. Which would be very good and very useful. No, mm, stay. There we go. Well, oh, that was close. We'll take this whole front row out first. Trying to line it up with the edge. There we go. There's one out. Only a few more stacks to go. We'll have this all cleaned up, and then we can get. Uh, we can go and do some uh, work with the cows and some work with the pigs and some work with the sheep. Nice, <laughs> that was close. That was very close, that was. And done, and out. Perfect. Right. One more off the front here, and then I think we have four stacks and four stacks. And the whole pile has gone to an angle. Definitely need to get these in before it rains today.
go. So, eight more stacks to go. We're about the same amount of hay at the moment as we have grass. So I think we probably need to do some silage. In that case. Yeah, if we've got three more stacks here, yeah, it's about about the same amount of hay as we have straw. There we go. Bell stacking is always fun. Don't know when you're going to make that mistake that pulls the whole stack down on you. Right, and back. Forward. go Go and that's that one done. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go and look at a new piece of equipment that might be able to to also plant some all seed radish um, that's a little bit wider uh, because we only have the four meter one, uh, whereas our other planter uh, is uh, about a six meter I think and does dub but doesn't do radish. So, uh, yeah, I do need a new planter. So yeah, we have three more on top of this and then two more in front uh, and then one to distribute. Two more on the top of here. Yeah, and then that just leaves a stack of four at the back. Or, sorry, four stacks of three at the back. Thank you. 
can get in nice and easily. Skies are still clear at the moment. That's good. That's very good. And so we know rain is on the way, and we do need to get these undercover before then. Go. So that leaves just the three stacks there. Ooh. I might just stack them to be honest so that we have, uh, yeah, one tool stack. And one short. And I can just take from the short to begin with. Or the tall one, in fact. Let's see if I can push that whole stack back. Now, this is where things might go horribly wrong. Whoa, uh, that way. There we go. That's a little more stable. Right, so last three. And then we'll go and switch to the little MB and get the rest of these stacked up. Still got that. There we go. Pull those out. And back off. Oh, oh we caught our forks. Not good. We're massively over. There we go, and we can drop him a bit. This 
stack we want to the left and then the last one we will put on top. Off. there we go so just the single stack of these hay bales left and then the few single straw bales that we have kicking around too and we're done there we go and we're up and round. So next next episode, I think we're going to see if we can get a new cedar uh, and try that out. Uh, it doesn't have to be one that can cultivate as well, but we do need to, we do need something else that will uh, that works outside of our our full coon setup. So, we will see what we have at the shop. I'm probably going to pick that up next time, I think. We've got these couple of little bits left to do this time on here. There we go. Right, so I think we can park this head at the end. Nope. There we go. And then we'll pick up the bell spike. We won't go and get the MB track. With these last couple, we'll just put the smaller bell spike on. There we go. I'll just go pick up these bales. Now the reason I've switched bale spikes to do these last couple uh, is because this little bale spike, uh, the big bale spike, I haven't it has enormous trouble picking up bales that I have to do like this. Does seem a little small to me now doing a single bale on a on this bale spike. Oh, okay. Looks like we have a different mission for next uh, next. Uh, stream we have a great demand for wool so we need to go and load up our wool at the uh, from our sheep pen next time that will uh, that will put us in good stead especially if we have four pallets of wool again that will be fantastic uh, we've got to fit four pallets of wool onto our little trailer our little humbar trailer if that's the case but yeah, certainly a great demand for wool right now is perfect. Knock that bale over. Right, 
There we go. Right, and then the last couple. You see this, I think, yeah, this could pick off the top. I don't know if the other one will be able to. But if it can't, then we will just use this tractor to do that. I've been contemplating the future of the fast, uh, the little MB track, to be honest. As much as I love that little tractor, with this, with uh, this, with uh, the front loader on, it's kind of a little bit redundant. But then, when this is out doing lots of work, then I'm going to want that little track. So I don't know. We'll see. The moment it might seem it, I think there will be a time in the spring when I'm hastily trying to plant everything. That uh, that will that I will need this as well as that little MB track. Right. Down with that. Oh, that was close. Last two. Again, we will stack them in the same way as we stacked the uh, the hay bales. That way, if we get a, when we get another pile of straw in, although we won't obviously before we start using these, I don't think it is in a stack of three. Just the one more. This is the last one, and then we're done. No, 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 oh. 
<laughs> there we go. Right, so. Uh, that is where we'll leave it. Well, might as well admire our work while we're uh, finishing up. Uh, so, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.